um, now I'm going to start uh, how to how to do the goal and optimization for a design in the ADS 2011 here we can see uh, this is the microship line for the optimization process first of all uh, we have to place some values for width and length of this microstrip line here after selecting this one we can see here tune optimization statics uh, this kind of uh, button if you click on this one we can see this uh, optimization button here if you if you go under this one optimization here we can see enabled and clear and disabled if you enable this one we this uh, uh, parameter parameter that means the width is width parameter can be optimized in such a way that we can get the proper result so here here i have given the minimum value uh, for the optimization as zero and maximum value is 100 mm and similarly we can set the limit for length also by clicking on uh, this one and then uh, going for tune optimization this button okay click on up to click on apply and then okay um here i have entered the param i have entered the parameter values for the micro strip uh, substrate that means height uh, epsilon r and then conductivity and the thickness of the conductor and then uh, tandy that means last tangent uh, here, I have, here i have placed a s parameter simulation box that means uh, here uh, the start frequency was given as 1 gigahertz and the stop frequency was 3.5 gigahertz actually this uh, goal of this uh, design was uh, given as to be operated at 2.4 to 2.48 gigahertz range that means ism band range here in the expression in the expression uh, this uh, column we have to give uh, uh, db of s of 1 comma 1 that means we want the uh, scattering parameter 1 comma 1 uh, in, in terms of dbs uh, we want this one so we have to give the expression of uh, expression for this one and then um, uh, this s parameters this name was sp1 s parameter simulation box so we have to give this one as sp1 uh, weight uh, we don't need to wear this one and uh, we have to change this independent variable as freak that means fe fre key fre q that means the frequency similarly i have set the three goals that means uh, in this ism band i want the s11 value as min uh, within that means less than that of minus 20 db and um, from 2 to 2 giga 2.2 gigahertz i want the s11 return loss value that means uh, refle uh, reflection coefficient value at the first port greater than 0 db similarly for this one that means uh, i want a dip uh, of this kind of shape of v shape uh, at, uh, at uh, i want the dip at 2 point dip in between 2.4 gigahertz to 2.48 gigahertz range and click on apply these three are the goals here and then ok and then optimization in this we can select any kind of algorithm i have selected the random algorithm that means the genetic algorithm many algorithms are there well, first of all we have to know for which kind of design which kind of algorithm will be very very suitable so for the simplicity i am selecting the random algorithm and um, i have uh, given the 500 iterations if you are increasing the iterations the precision might be increased click ok um, actually i have um, given this um, optimization tuning values here by clicking on these parameters and also we can give these uh, parameters uh, in this uh, simula simulation tab also that means simulation variable setup in this one also we can give that means uh, by highlighting this by tick by clicking on these uh, parameters we'll be having the minimum and the maximum we can we, we can give the minimum and maximum values here also in this way also we can give the minimum and maximum values uh, for that parameter to, to do the to do the optimization here tuning and optimization were there so we have to click on optimization and then we have to select those things as i have already selected those things uh, at uh, micro strip line mlin these two are highlighted automatically i haven't i haven't I highlighted them if we highlight here they will be highlighted there also um okay the setup was ready for doing the optimization and uh, goal we set the goal now this optimization um 
box will optimize the design in such a way that that will operate at our required range with the required values with the required performance click on this um, red color and red and green button, button that means optimize button here we can see that the, actually this was minus 20 db uh, goal and these two are the 0 db 0 db goals so we can see this one is the error 0.5 percentage error here we can see this dip was coming but okay this automatically this uh, result window window will be opened here we can see uh, this uh, design was operating at 2.4 gigahertz range if we zoom this one we can see this one very very clearly yeah this was operating in between 2.4 to 2.48 very very exactly so in this way we can design any kind of design that means uh, um, if you want to update the design with these uh, transmission line uh, length and width values we have to click on the update the design if you don't want to update the design uh, with these values click on the don't update design um, and also similarly if some capacitor is there uh, I want to in this if this capacitor was there in the circuit I want to uh, optimize the entire uh, circuit performance in such a way that I want the desired value at the time also here we can see tune optimization in this way in each and every parameter in each and every circuit uh, component this optimization uh, button will be there if you click on that one we can vary we can set the maximum and minimum values for that one in that way we can uh, uh, do the optimization um, this is what I want to tell you okay this is a um, uh, presentation I want to give you bye